I swear there's nothing you can't fight off at this point. <laughs> Can you help me try to fight off bacon? Because it's my favorite thing to eat. Can you help me find a way to fight that off? <laughs> I will help you. I don't eat meat, so I can be that girl for you. <laughs> oh, help me. Help me stop. We're dealing with an intelligent entity. We're planning a mission to attack this thing. I'm asking you for your help. Say yes, Brian. You, Hallie, and John are the trio I didn't know I needed. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, I, you know, there aren't many situations when we'd be put together, but the end of the world, if, if it takes the end of the world for the three of us to be put together, then I'll take it. I imagine going into space is one of the most intense, stressful experiences. If you could choose to go to space, though, with one of your previous characters, who would you choose to take with you? Well, it would be a toss up between. Sophia and Storm, but I think I would choose Storm because she can control the weather and I think I might need some controlling of the atmosphere in some way. Now that would be a mission and a half. I'd love to see that movie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to make that happen. It might be Orm from Aquaman. I think he, he, he deserves to go to space. Since he lives underwater, he deserves that opportunity. Even aliens who, who've never heard of the human race will meet Halle Berry and be pretty impressed. So I think, I think she's the one. She, 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 she's the star player of this team. I swear there's nothing Halle Berry can't fight off. And there's nothing that I can fight off. So, so between, <laughs> between us, we're a, we're, a, we're a dynamic duo. John's character in this has always dreamt of going into space. I was wondering, in your childhood, was there ever a moment that you knew then that you wanted to become an actor? No, I never wanted to go to space as a child and I never thought I'd be an actor as a child. So no and no. <laughs> if you weren't acting, is there anything else you think that you would be doing? Now, no, I think this is clearly what I was meant to do. But when I was little, I wanted to be um, a journalist. Um, I wanted to be or some sort of writer, like an author. I wanted to write books, children books. Um, but, but never did I ever imagine I would have the life that I've actually been able to have and as a kid like I never saw there weren't many black actresses for me to aspire to be like like it was almost like not even a possibility when I was very little you know I didn't have many role models in this uh, career field so it, it wasn't really a reality when I was little when I was when I was growing up we didn't really go to the theater much and we didn't even watch that many films we sort of watched TV and, t and sort of TV comedy like the programs you watch when you're a kid, like Only Fools and Horses and stuff like that, Faulty Towers, those kind of shows. And I remember watching them and thinking, I don't know what an actor is necessarily, but I, I want to make people feel the way they're making me feel. I, I, I just sort of knew what a privilege and what a thrill it must be to make people as happy as, as they made me. So yeah, it, was, it, it started there really. And I'd never thought I'd ever be in movies or even on TV, but... Yeah, so through luck and a couple of other things, I've managed to make a bit of a career for myself, and I'm I, I'm I couldn't I can't believe my luck. I can never do. I missed the break down in Africa. I loved watching you sing your heart out to Africa in this. What are your go-to yeah. karaoke songs? Ooh, good question. Oh, there are so many. Man, there are so many. It really depends on the room. I will say. The best karaoke song of all time. It's a difficult song to sing, but it's probably but it'd be It's Not Unusual by Tom Jones. Because I've thought about this a lot. Because it's really short, it's fun, and everybody knows it. So people will join in with most of it as soon as you start singing. You don't want to do a song that goes on and on and on. A little quick blast of it's not unusual and I'm off. Because I love it so much, I have to kind of gauge like, okay, what's what do I need to do? Do I need to go like old school, like Tom Jones or something? Or do I need to go, you know, it's kind of a way I can break it in before I try to start screaming some real high notes and do some Journey or some Bon Jovi. It's, it usually is dated. I'm not doing something super current. I will say that. Um, yeah, I, there's, there's, there's a few though. I love... Yeah, there's, there's, uh, I like Journey, I like, uh, I'll do like, probably like a Bon Jovi ballad. There you go. You and John must have done karaoke together because he was also saying Tom Jones. 
Oh, was he? Tom's been my go-to for a long time. Yeah, no, I've done, I've done, um, cause that's also always fun to do. Cause I, I, I've, I've studied voice. And I, you know, I love to kind of sitting into that big baritone voice that I, so if people don't know that I can sing, I can sing Delilah. I sing it like really loudly. <laughs> it's sort of shocking and odd. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a little, it's a little like overdone. So it's, it's just offensive enough. You get very passionate with it. That's all you can do when you're saying Tom Jones. Be brave. If the moon really is what you think it is, suit up. The fate of the world in this obviously depends on Joe, and she can't turn back. I'm interested to know, in your career, has there ever been a moment on set where you thought about giving up because it's maybe been too challenging? Never. No. And quitting has never really been a part of my thought process. When I start something, I, I'm, I feel challenged within myself to finish what I do, mean what I say, say what I mean, and finish what I start. I, I mean, there's there's always setbacks, but I'm a, I, I like to be more of a big picture person. So I, um, I, I, and I think that's a lot of the reason why a lot of actors, you know, you, you as an actor, you have two choices when you're younger. You can look at your life as job to job. Which is, of course, if you break it down, it's kind of what it is, which can, is why a lot of people just are like, I can't deal with this because this job is over in a month and then I'm unemployed again. And that, that's tough for people. And I guess I've always kind of sat back and gone, you know what, you, I did the training, I went to school, I'm prepared for a career in this, and you have to play the long game. So that, that at least enables me to not get frustrated if a movie doesn't work or if a movie falls through or if you know whatever something happens or you don't feel good about your performance it's like eh, it's just one it's going on the next if i have to quit um i choose not to look at it as a quitting but look at it as a um making a decision that's actually for my higher good rather than look at it as quitting something it's, it's making choices that are for my highest good I need your mentality in my life. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking Thank to me. You. Huge congrats on the movie. This is Hits Radio.